Hello, everybody. I would like to share with y'all my new cup press. My do um, 20 ounce, 30 ounce cup press. It even do um, glass, mugs. It does, it does several things, a lot of things with this little one. So you squeeze the top, you pop it open, and that's what it looked like inside. It's very big. Let me turn the timer off. It's very big size. And it's portable, so if you want to carry it somewhere, it's not really that heavy, but it's still small enough to take with you if you're doing personal cups on the spot at a pop-up shop. This will be very convenient. So it holds this 20 ounce. This is a 20 ounce flat. It holds that. It shuts nicely. You gotta adjust the back of it, but it adjusts nicely. And it has the screws for the settings. Now the thing is, just like most cups, there's a little gap here. It's a teeny gap, but you're supposed to do it on one side and then you flip it and do it the other side. But it's gonna give you an even all the way across because it's, um. Yeah, you should get your nice even space all the way across. So I'm printing my picture out now for the cup. Oh, it's still warm. That's a little warm. This cup press comes with it comes with some tape and it comes with gloves. So and it even, even if you have a big order of these, you can put two in here at a time. So you can also do two at a time in here. You can do two at a time here. And you can also um, do adjustment for these. So you just have to um, turn the nozzles to be able to do your two um, thermoses at, your two cups at one time. But I think, I think it's very convenient and very easy. My other one that I got from Denise is very big. So I wouldn't be able to take that nowhere if I was traveling and wanted to go somewhere I wouldn't be able to take it. So you basically gotta do some adjustments when it comes to doing these two at a time. So you just got some screws here. And guess what the price was, y'all? It's only $200. And I think it's worth the $200 to be able to do these cups all at the same time along with this size skinny size and i even have um the big the big speaker cup that you can also put in here and it'll do that too you just gotta make the adjustments but tighten it and you see it gives you a nice it's nice sealed nicely here so i'm gonna leave the link to y'all down the bottom if y'all want that but these cups here is very nice. So I'm going to be using my team, which is Dallas Cowboys. Yes, that's my team. And I'm going to be putting it on here and, and see how it go. But let me go ahead and measure this and make sure this is right first. I, I was messing with the buttons. So I want to make sure this right, nice and tight, but not too tight. And I'm going to flip it over when the time comes to the other side. I got it set. I'm going to set it to 400 for one minute. And you don't want to make it too, too, too tight because then you won't be able to squeeze it and pop it. So just make it where as though you're not going to hurt your hands. So we're going to turn this on. Wait a minute, let me take this cup out first. I don't want to burn myself. So we're going to turn it on and then we're going to set this mold. The first mold is set to 400. If you push it again, then it's going to give you your time. So I got it set like uh, 62. That's one minute point something. But And then you just turn it that way. 
and it's done. So it's, it's getting hot. It's getting hot pretty fast. Look at that. It don't even take long at all. These numbers is really moving pretty fast. It's got some light shining on it. So you can see, see how fast the numbers moving. So it's going to be up there in a matter of time. So let me sit that off to the side. Here's my dollars picture. I ordered it from Etsy. It cost two dollars. This is really nice. So I'd like to say thank y'all for finding my channel, subscribing to my page. Uh, my Facebook group is Crafting Together as one. If you want to check that out, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut. They got this thing. When you buy it, it comes out exactly what you get too. I'm gonna put this on here. Trim off my edges. Let me trim off these edges because I don't want that showing up in my thing. So this is my new printer. I sold. I did my new printer already. That was that's an Epson fifteen thousand. And converted over to sublimation so that I can be able to do bigger prints because I was using the sawgrass and I wasn't able to do the thirteen by nineteen. So that's what the sawgrass. So now I can do these big prints with no problem. So my edges is trimmed off. My cup on here, my bonus. Making sure I leave a little bit down there and a little teeny bit on top because I don't want no ghosts. I'm gonna do 400 on one side, flip it and 400 on the other side. So my paper is straight. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to make sure everything lined up nicely. And it's nice. So you want to line these things up. Okay, that looks better. Just add a little tape on it. It's easier to get the little tape dispenser. I'm trying the blue tape. I was using the brown one, but the reviews was pretty good for the blue tape, so I'm going to use the blue tape. So this is my little sublimation station. I was waiting for my my Vont HDV Vont to come today, and they messing around, telling me that I canceled it and and wanted it to stay at the store. So now I have to wait till tomorrow to receive it. Monday. So look how fast this thing. As we were talking, it didn't, it didn't even take long for this to get hot at all. I got my glove ready. There's some nice gloves they sent us. Look at that, nice little gloves. All right, so they get the 400. I'm gonna pop that joint open. We're gonna put this picture in here. Check out some of my other videos, y'all. I'm up to 130 in one year. I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> And if you want to see, and if you don't have a uh, sublimation, there are other videos for my beginners that you can just use the paper and do it. So there you go. I hope I put it all up. I hope I didn't do it upside down because if you ain't paying attention, your picture can go upside down and then you be screwed with the cup. All my messed up cups that I don't remember the the mirror. If I don't mirror the cups, I take the I don't throw them out. I keep the same ones, and then I spray paint it, and then I put the paper on top and add resin, and do it that way. All right, so I'm gonna start with the piece in the back downwards, and then I'm gonna close it. It's too tight. Let me stand up and do this. I've got to loosen it some. Let's check the first time. Loosen it some more. Okay, so now it's tight. 
So I'm going to leave it in there for my one minute. Did it say start? I think it's supposed to put the start button. Okay. All right. There you go. I push the start button. I like it. Look at that. And it's still enough space to even get it taller. If it even was taller, you still got enough space in there on both sides. So I start with the, the crease at the bottom. That way, when I flip it for the next minute, I can make sure that crease is up the top because it's already done. But don't you think this is cute? I think it's worth $200. Like I said, it's a little heavy, but it's not too heavy. And you even can move it around with the handles even when it's hot. So it came with some additional. So it came with a temperature gauge. If, if you feel like you're having some problems with it, you think the temperature is not coming all right or properly, it did come with this too. So I'm going to put the link down the bottom for y'all for this. All right, this is done. I'm going to take this out. Oh, that's your cooking. It's so hot, I might have to turn this down and, and, and turn the temperature down. But let me test these gloves out. Test these test these gloves out. Oh, the gloves work. All right, so let me... Oh, these gloves work. This thing would burn my hands right now. All right, we're going to do another minute. And then we're going to take this thing out of here and peel it and see how good it is. And then I will submit my review to it. Let y'all see where I got it from. And order it. I think it's a it's a good investment. And it doesn't take up much space. So you see, once I once I um get my auto release thing, this is gonna sit in the corner here. And this will sit in the corner, and then my new uh hoop press will come here for everything else. But and then I should be able to pull it out, turn it this way, and still have enough room to do it while the press is there. But I like this. It's so convenient. <laughs> Almost done. Let's put some gloves on. Hey, you can smell it cooking. All right, I'm gonna turn the power on. Squeeze this up. Take it loose, y'all. And it look like it cooked it good. Cooked it good. I'm going to use my mouse pad. The grandbaby painted on it for me. She likes painting on the mouse pad, so I don't need to put pictures on it no more. There you go. Let's test this thing out. Let's close this up. Move it out the way for the next time. Get that out of my way. It don't feel hot at all with the glove on. But you can smell it. Let's get some of this paper off. Check this out. Hey, look at that. And that's only after one minute. What's this? Hey, look at that. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Y'all Eagles fans, don't get too up. Don't get too mad, but I'm Dallas, and I like it. It turned out so nice. Look at that. Nice and vibrant. I think the... Yeah, okay. Look like it pressed it in paper glue. Maybe I should turn it down, or maybe I should turn it up. And look how even this is in the back. So you don't have to worry about. I think it turned out good. What y'all think? Would y'all give this a thumbs up? Maybe I could have pressed it. A, I think I could have pressed it a little teeny bit more. But I think that's fine. I think that's how it's supposed to look. I'm not sure. All right. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching the review on my my new cup press. I will leave the link down there. I think it's very convenient for everybody. Bye-bye.